Rose blooming baby bump as pregnant Duchess glows at Fiji dinner. Meghan Markle has showed off her growing baby bump in a stunning blue dress as the Duchess of Sussex attended a reception and dinner hosted by the President of Fiji, after landing in the country earlier today with Prince Harry for the next leg of their overseas tour. The mother-to-be impressed in the full-length gown by Safiya, which revealed her blooming baby bump. The Duchess completed the look with a dazzling pair of diamond earrings. Meghan was glowing as she held her hand over her bump at the evening event. The 37-year-old is showing no signs of slowing down after landing in Fiji earlier today. The mother-to-be impressed in the full-length gown by Safiya, which revealed her blooming baby bump. The Duchess completed the look with a dazzling pair of diamond earrings. Meghan was glowing as she held her hand over her bump at the evening event. The 37-year-old is showing no signs of slowing down after landing in Fiji earlier today. Meghan Markle cradled her blooming baby bump as she stunned in a floor-length blue gown at a Fiji state banquet. In the clearest image of her bump yet, the Duchess gently placed her hands on her stomach while stood alongside Harry at their evening event. Meghan dazzled in diamonds to go with the blue, cape dress by label safe at a black tie reception on the first night of in Fiji. Her outfit, worn with her hair down, was by German-born London-based designer Daniela Karmutz. Guests, including diplomats, local business leaders and the cream of Fijian society, gathered for the champagne reception ahead of the state dinner at the Grand Pacific Hotel where the royal couple are staying during the visit. The hotel is a royal favorite with the Queen staying there five times, in 1963, 1970, 1973, 1977 and 1982. Prince Charles has checked in three times, in 1970, 1985 and 2005 and Prince Andrew stayed in 1998. Princess Anne was a guest in 2006. The hotel's website states, once established as the standard of luxury that was fit for royalty, now more than 100 years later, the Grand Pacific Hotel remains true to the ideals of delivering the best of old world charms, South Pacific hospitality and contemporary service. Earlier today, the royal couple were welcomed to Fiji with a traditional ceremony where they were presented with a roast pig, a whale's tooth and a taste of the traditional local brew, kava. The ceremony, under cloudy skies in Suva's Albert Park, mirrored one attended by the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh in 1953. But the weather didn't stop thousands of people packing the streets leading to Albert Park to greet them. The Duchess of Sussex waved to the crowd from the motorcade, as the couple arrived to cheers for the Virkura Carvi Vacavigno where they were greeted by chiefs in a tradition known as the Tama. The crowd, slightly damp from the rain shower or a bit of blessing as the Master of Ceremonies put it, cheered and waved Union Jacks and Fijian flags as the couple arrived. Hundreds maintained reverential silence which is the custom, with only the occasional burst of children chatting or a nearby clock chiming, heard over the rhythmic drums and chanting of the ceremony. Harry and Meghan sat on a stage as he was given the whale's tooth, a sign of wealth, in the Vakasabu, before he were given kava, a drink made from a mashed plant root in the Yakona Vakachuriga. Harry. His medals catching the floodlights, looked on as the kava was made with the root wrung out and a bowl passed to the duke on the stage. The area is known for its strong links to the armed forces and Harry was proudly displaying three medals on his suit, an Afghanistan Operational Service Medal and the Queen Elizabeth II Golden and Diamond Jubilee Medals. The Duke and Duchess were also pictured waving from the balcony of the Grand Pacific Hotel to adoring crowds below.